This is my 2021 Ram 2500. In the last video, I put the wheels and tires on it. In this video, I'm going to be switching over some of the chrome for the night edition components. I have the grill, the headlights, the front badge, the hood badge, and the tailgate emblem. I don't have the mirrors. I'm undecided how I'm going to take care of that. And I don't have the Ram door badge. I'm just going to take that off. And the Hemi badge, I'm undecided what to do with. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. This isn't really a how-to video. CJC Off-Road has a kind of a how-to video on how to do this. I am just kind of letting you watch over my shoulder as I work. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Speaking of CJC, they sell a very nice bumper transition piece sort of valence deal that replaces this plastic spoiler. It's aluminum. It looks like a skid plate, but it's not a skid plate because it doesn't hold the weight of the truck, but it looks a whole lot better than this plastic. The only caveat with that is that you can't use the factory license plate frame. So I have an idea how to fix that since New York State requires the front plate. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick walk around the truck so you could get good before footage before I do the night edition components. You can check out my last video too. I have some walk around footage there where you'll still be able to see all the chrome stuff on the truck. First thing I'm going to do is remove this plastic shroud. I'm probably going to clean it while it's out too. There's also two clips right up here that I'm going to do next. Make sure you don't miss those. So the upper grill surround, it looks like I forgot to hit record taking it off. So it's just a bunch of 10 millimeter bolts that hold it in. I believe there's 10 of them. Here it is off the truck. Like I said, just some 10 millimeter bolts. And then there was two pins, one here and one on the other side, right above the headlight. All right, now for the least fun part, getting this lower headlight trim off. This is just plastic and it's pretty tight to the fender. And there's three or four clips back here and a locating pin over here. So I'm going to try my best to pull this off without breaking it. I got my fingers crossed, but if I do break it, I'll go ahead and leave the film on there for you to see it. I got an assortment of plastic pry bars, panel pullers. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap a rag around these and try to work them off with this. I don't know if we broke it or if it's coming. Let's we'll find out. Oh. 
Okay, so I did not break it. This fell out, but I have it. So that's good. So I kind of pulled that off way too aggressive, but I still did not break any of the clips. So hopefully if you're going to try this, that gives you a little bit more confidence. So next we're removing this lower grill surround. I know there's two bolts right on the outside and from the CJC video I saw there's four nuts they said behind here. I don't know if I'll be able to film those or not. I'll try. So we're under the truck now. Uh, I think I see the four nuts. So I don't know if you can see it. One right here. And that's going to be the same. This is underneath the headlight, so that's going to be the same on the passenger side as well. And then the other two are a little bit harder to see and get to, but I think I can get to them from down here. But through these drainage holes, or whatever you want to call them, they might actually be specifically cut so you can get a socket on an extension through them. But way back here, up there about three inches, is one of the other bolts. And the other one, or nuts rather, and one of the other ones is over here. So let's see if we can zoom you in. You probably see it there. So I'm just going to use a extension to get to that. And the other one is right up there Initially I just removed the two nuts, well I just loosened the two nuts here and that hole there, but it turns out there's some up in here as well. I didn't film them but they're a good like six inches up there. They're kind of hard to get at from the bottom because you can't really see them. So what I did was I stuck my hand around the front of the bumper and I guided the socket up and through. So if you look at this now that it's off. This is the top. This is the exact center of the grill. These are the two I was able to show you since they're nice and low and you can see them through the hole. These three are kind of the blind ones. There's six bolts up top for the grill surround. Here, here, third down here, 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 and here. If you have a surround view camera system with the front camera, you gotta disconnect this clip as well. To remove these headlights, there's two 10 millimeter bolts. One is up here, and one you gotta get at from the bottom. And then there's a two clips, or pins rather, one up top and another one from the bottom.
I'm gonna put this here for now so when I take the ones out of the bottom, the whole headlight doesn't come forward on me. Also, the driver's side doesn't have much slack on the headlight wiring connector, so you do it from up here. Right there is the plastic pin you gotta pull that goes up into the bottom of the headlight. And then there's a bolt there. It's not that one. It's right behind this angle iron. I don't know if you could see it on the camera or not, but it's right there. I'm going to go ahead and remove them from, uh, you got to do the bolt from down here and you could do the pin from up top if you're careful. And that's it. It's just one of those two-piece ones like on the top. So here's a night edition headlight versus the one that came off my truck. The differences are very subtle. When you look at the truck with them on, you almost can't really see a difference immediately. But in my opinion, the night edition is much sleeker looking. So I got the two grills here. This is the one that came off the truck. That's the one that's going in. I gotta take two things off of this. One is this lower piece here and the lower grill surround bolts to that. And the other is the camera and RAM backing right where the letters are that say RAM. There's a backing that those go on and the camera also mounts there. So I'm gonna take those off and transfer them to the new grill. I hate these things. So I gotta remove the chrome letters too to put the black ones on. They look fairly simple, just some clips on the back. I'm gonna go ahead and put the black letters on. That's the part number right there if anyone needs it.
So I was mistaken before about removing this. That actually stays on this grill. The new one comes with one. All I have to do is take the nuts off this and transfer them to the new grill. Here's the part number for these pieces. You'll notice that the factory ones, they're like a more of a grayish than a black, but that's just the way they are. You didn't get defective ones if you notice that. They don't actually match the RAM color. Comment sections far and wide on YouTube. Pick people apart for using impacts on this kind of stuff, but I'll have you note, it's on the lowest setting. And I go back and finish it with a ratchet. This doesn't even get it tight enough on this setting. It makes a lot of noise, but it's not even that tight.
Now I'm going to remove this lower plastic spoiler so I can put the uh, metal intercooler guard slash valence on from CJC. Might be a little hard to tell in the shadows, but without that trim, it looks so much better already. I got the guard laid out and the brackets oriented the way they're going to go when they're mounted on the truck. CJC has very good and clear instructions with pictures on how to install this, so I'm not really doing a how-to. I'll just show you myself installing it. bracket that the guard mounts to goes back here but when it's behind this mount the front hole is not reaching so I'm gonna go ahead and loosen these like the instructions say so I could pull this forward a little bit to get the proper alignment these are 24 millimeter
with this CJC intercooler guard, lower valance. You do away with the factory license plate frame. So I got one of these semi-rigid license plate holders and I just got 3 8 well nuts. And I believe these were maybe half inch long. These holes measure pretty much exactly 3 8 so I put them both through the front, pop it on. I'm taking these emblems off the side as well as the Hemi one up there. This isn't a how-to on how to remove emblems. There's probably 1,500 videos on YouTube how to do that. Just a little bit of residue right here where the M came off. So I'll just explain my process. I'm just going to use fishing line to pull these off. There's going to be some adhesive left behind these. I'm going to use a heat gun to loosen it up, pull it off with my fingers, hit it with a 3M eraser wheel, and whatever residue is left, I'm going to hit it with a rag and some detailing spray. And then after that, I'm going to use a buffer with fine grit just to polish out all the fine lines that are left. Luckily, since this truck is new, there's really not a whole lot of dirt build up behind these or anything. like it wasn't even there.
Oh, it looks like that's not coming off in one piece. Looks a lot better with the night edition. I wish they offered the night edition as an option from the factory with this color. It's kind of uh, an expensive endeavor to do it on your own. But anyway, here's some uh, footage of the truck. Thanks for watching.